Come in. Hello. Hi, Tim. My name is Mary. I'm a student nurse from the CVTC Technical College, and I am here to take care of you today. Um, would you prefer me to call you Tim or another name? Tim. Tim is fine? Okay, great. All right. So what I'm going to do is just check your ID band here first. And if you could please give me your full name and date of birth. Tim Pimentlo, 7 10 64. Okay, thank you very much. I'm just going to cover you back up. So I have good news for you today. Do you know what that is? No. Okay, you get to get that fully out. How does that sound? Good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take that tube out of your bladder right now, and I think you're going to, you're going to like that. So um, it's not going to be as bad as it did going in, so that's good news. So what I'm going to do here is just put my gloves on. I have all my equipment here, and I did verify the order from the um, provider that we can remove the Foley catheter. So once we, we've already performed pericare, or fully care. So you always want to do that before you remove and you always want to do it after removal as well. Again, you're trying to keep that bacteria level down so we don't introduce that into the um, urinary system. All right, Tim, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get started. I'm just going to pull this down. Okay. All right, and I'm going to remove this um, stat lock thing here or lock securement. So we can take that off. And also, um, I would empty the Foley bag of urine. If there was urine in there, it must have just been emptied because there's not any urine in there. So I would go ahead and empty that, take it into the, um, the bathroom and measure in a graduated cylinder how much I have and record that in the output section of the chart. So I would do that first before um, proceeding with taking this out. All right, the only equipment that you really need is um, a 10 cc syringe. And if they don't already have a pad underneath, you can go ahead and put a pad just in case as you pull it out, there might be some leakage of urine in there. All right, Tim, I'm just gonna put this underneath here real quick here. All right, just to catch if we have anything. All right, good. And then I have my syringe. Always a trick. All right, again now, so I'm gonna put this on the balloon area because that's where our water is. So we wanna deflate that balloon before we pull this out because um, you wouldn't wanna pull it out that balloon's still inflated. All right, Tim, so I'm gonna go ahead. You shouldn't feel this at all, but I'm just gonna remove the amount of fluid that I put in. All right, so you should get near 10 cc's or 10 cc's. So once you have that out, you can go ahead and throw that away. You don't need that. All right, Tim, so this is pretty simple. I'm just gonna have you um, take a deep breath and when you blow out, I'm gonna start pulling out the catheter. So in, in deep and blow out. Okay, that's all there is to it. And then again, we would do peri care when we're done just to make sure everything's clean. You wanna examine the end of the catheter tip again to make sure it's intact. And um, so there isn't anything that broke or pieces left in the bladder and you wanna look at it to see if there's any um, drainage on that or just maybe some stuff that just doesn't look right because you could culture the tip of this if necessary. All right, so we are done with this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and we are going to dispose of this per agency policy, which this agency says we can just toss it in the garbage and that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm going to remove my gloves and wash my hands and get rid of all of my garbage. All right, so Tim, we got that out. So how does that feel? Great. Good. So a couple of things I got to tell you now before I leave. So now that you have that out of your bladder, you have to um, drink lots of water today. Okay, um, at least a couple good glasses, eight to 10 ounces, um, because we wanna make sure that you know, you can, your, your bladder starts working like it should so you can void. The other thing is um, we're gonna keep track of when your first void is going to be or when you first have to go to the bathroom to urinate. And we wanna make sure that you do that at least within um, eight hours after we have removed that. So we'll be in checking on you frequently, making sure you're drinking fluids and if you need any assistance um, to use the, 
the bathroom, please uh, use your call light. But yes, that's going to be really important. So if, does that sound okay? Okay. All right, I'll make sure I get some water in here and get you started on that. Is there anything else I can do for you right now before I leave? Nope. All right, very good. So bed is locked and lowered, um, call light within reach, bedside table is here, and if there's any alarms, we make sure those alarms are, are on. Thank you. We'll see you later, Tim.